<clears throat> so these are some potato skins that I took home from BTB's or Bathtub Billy's today. After I sang the karaoke songs, she will be loved my Maroon 5 pretty much right as we arrived. Then Mumbo number five by Lou Bega, and then lastly, Purple Rain by Prince. Oh, this is the Star Foam drawing. I worked on all at BTBs. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to finish it soon. This is as far as I got. Uh, that box contains my microphone flipped upside down. This is the box the potato skins came in. My phone charger, my markers, and more of my markers. Um, there's currently a fellowship adventure going on. I remember how at one point today, uh, maybe early on today, it seems like the beverages weren't accepted or something. And not entirely sure why that was. Uh, this is some sour cream for the potato skins. I got the lobster and shrimp and mac and cheese. And for my side, I got French onion soup. Uh, people at uh, BTBs seem to seem to like this styrofoam drawing. Patty came over tonight. And did some singing. <sighs> if I recall, I think from 1 something p.m. to about 3 p.m., I went in the pool with. My mom, but you know, she kind of just laid out in the sun on one of the patio chairs. Getting a tan. I think I did about 10 laps total within those two hours, but 
I didn't do them all at once. I believe I can do three laps around the pool max before my arms get sore from swimming, but it feels good to swim, move my arms kind of like this, kicked my legs out. Uh, that's how I swam. Uh. Excuse me. I'm not exactly sure how to get that. Second workshop. Hmm. Eh, perhaps I would have to work towards getting a city expansion for that. Hmm. <sighs> Not really sure of where I would place it ultimately. In Stronghold Kingdoms, I'm currently researching the second level of the marriage research. After I'm maxing out research on engineering. I'm currently building another F Fletcher within my first or oldest village. Here's where I am in regards to the castle for that village. I'm following her design based off a YouTube link that my liege lord for I think uh, nearly every single village. I have. Hmm. Oh, things aren't good in my original village because <laughs> there's currently two AI castles next to it. A wolf's castle and a Pig's Castle. <sighs> I don't really have much of an army. within my original village right now. Training 10 archers right now, it only goes up to 60 archers total. Mm. 
I got some 15,000 faith points out of a current cap of 40,000 for me. At Bathtub Billy's, I had The u my usual watermelon martini, which comes frozen. And then I got A firecracker martini, which is the martini of the month of August. And then Jessica, one of mom's friends, got me what was supposed to be a single shot of firecracker. I mean, fireball, cinnamon whiskey. But they accidentally, I think they accidentally gave a double shot. I've currently got an abundance of coins and supplies in this uh, Alvinar game. Uh, while I was in the pool, I engaged in some casual conversations with my mom also. Uh, there was a point in which I watched some YouTube videos today. I gain eight relics. Hmm. Oh, all in all, some pretty friendly faces uh, came to the Friday karaoke night. at BTB's tonight. Uh, this seems to be where I'm at currently on the Prosperity Towers. And trying to get it up to level 6. I believe I woke up around 10 to 11 in the morning. A pretty comfortable bed and all. I spent the entire time from 
after I dried myself off from taking a shower. Follow my roughly two hours and ten laps and plenty of conversation in the pool today. And us heading off to BTB's about a quarter after six. Completing this week's Odyssey. On Bloons Tower Defense 6. On Hard. Uh, there were points in which I had fears that some of the levels would be deflation mode, some of the islands, but uh, that ended up not being the case. Uh, there was some struggle on this week's Odyssey, which was called the Odyssey Solver, which was the first Odyssey in my memory had to restrict upgrade paths, putting limitations on tier 5s within the game. Uh, to the point where I only recall tier 5s being available for my glue gunner. It was worth the struggle because ultimately it got me plenty of experience, I think more than a million experience points towards uh, leveling up on Bloons Tower Defense 6. And through it all, I only used one pontoon. In order to place. A glue gunner. To hit that. Middle swirling section within the spillway map. And for the glue gunners, I always go with the bottom path because that's a path that slows both Moab class balloons and all the other balloons pretty much. Well, because I couldn't choose Ethane, I went with Captain. Churchill. The tank, the monkey tanker hero. And as such, during the later levels, I ended up having to focus my upgrades to ensure that my towers would all have camo detection. Uh, my only way of making any additional income was taking the middle path for one of my 
sniper monkeys, but again, because it was limited to tier fours, it, doing that wasn't very effective, but it never at any point cost me any attempts on an island. Oftentimes during the last rounds on an island, I had to rely on the ground zero ability that you get from the middle path of the monkey ace in order to clear mob class balloons and prevent them from leaking. Whole time I only had just 50 lives plus the mana shield of 25. For completing the Odyssey, I got 200 monkey money and a pontoon only cost 40 monkey money for me at least. Hmm. I did pretty much all the paths for the monkey aces, super monkeys. And also for the ice monkey, but for that, that was only in some cases, and I primarily used the bottom path for the ice monkey because it has good bloom popping power. while also being able to do good damage against Moab class plumes. <sighs> but I couldn't reach the full potential on that because again, tier fives were pretty restricted on that Odyssey.